Hey guys, welcome to the Stealthy Crafter. I'm Jessica and today we are doing an unboxing. Today's unboxing is from Diamond Art Club and it is Big Sis by Ivy Dolomore. It is a square diamond painting and it is 22 by 28 inches. So let's get into this. So I hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing excellent. So today I got the news that they're going to actually start working on the repairs of my office. So hopefully I'll get my computer back where it belongs and I have my bedroom back to normal and I'm so excited. <laughs> so we'll just throw this plastic to the side. Then we'll open this up and get into it. Ah. It's, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. <laughs> so, we'll just put everything over here neatly. First thing we'll look at is our, um, our lo <laughs> words. Logbook sticker. Um, if you don't know what a logbook sticker is, it is, well, a sticker. What you can do is you can put this on the bottom or side of your diamond painting box. So that way you know, um, know what it is if you have a large stash or... Uh, as the name implies, a logbook sticker is something you put in your logbook so that way you can put like the details, uh, the date, start dates and stuff like that, and dates, everything you know you want to uh, talk about what your diamond painting that you're working on. I'll put that to the side. Then we have our toolkit. So it looks like it was kind of already open. So we'll just dump everything out off like this. First thing we have is our baggies, and they're in a bag, which is very nice, so it's not like I'm struggling to put this all back into its place. Um, next up we have is our diamond painting pin, nice light blue with a matching squish, <laughs> a matching squishy. <laughs> and then we have our four and seven thin multi-placers. Um, next up we have um, branded tweezers. See, as you can see, it says Diamond Art Club. Um, they are uh, sheaves so that way you don't have to poke yourself. Um, then we have a heart-shaped container that has two heart-shaped blacks. And then right here we have is a pot or tray and it's a clear one with gold sparkles. And then also, I never really mentioned it, but it comes with a stopper, so that way you can make sure that your drills don't spill out. And then right here the, with the new toolkit, we have, oh, look at that, a cover minder. It's a, <laughs> it's a pig. It's a pig cover minder, a pig popsicle cover minder. And then <clears throat> we have our washi tape. Ooh, that is very pretty and sparkly. Um, I'll put this over here. Um, and we'll talk about what the washi tape and the cover minder is for in just a moment. I'll show you when I open up the canvas. Um, right now we have our dust cover. As you can see, that is also branded. Um, it's to help, you know, the dust cover is basically to help to get, protect your canvas from dust, you know, the elements, etc. That one was stuck on good. Holy cow. So we'll just toss all these out to the side. So as you can see, we have our drills here. And I didn't mention this before, but with um, Diamond Art Club, they have it uh, right here. They have it named so that way it matches the canvas name as well. So that way if you're putting them to off to like a different container, you can find them right here. Um, we have our instruction man manual right here which gives you the tips and tricks step-by-steps instructions next up we have is our inventory sheet so our inventory sheet has a bigger sticker um, as you can see you can write the start and end date on this um, it also comes with pre-cut stickers for your storage containers and some little bit extras right here um, wow, 61 colors are in it, and then there's four ABs. Um, if you don't know what an AB is, I'll show you in just a little bit. So we'll get into this canvas. I'm really excited. If I didn't mention, um, her, the artist's name is Ivy Dolomore, and I love her. All right, so 
I'm going to roll this out so that way I'm going to roll it backwards I mean so that way I can get this to flatten just a little bit faster um, it is a poured glue canvas so I'm able to do this Let's straighten up my table runner back here let's see Ooh, she's so pretty so the reason why I bought this and it's hard to show everything on the camera but I bought this because it just reminds me of childhood um, basically of like what what every teenage girl or boy would want in their room back in the 2000s so <laughs> what I mean by that is I talk about Sailor Moon a lot so down here we have the Luna plushie with their crescent moon uh, bald spot right here we have her playing video games. Um, she has a PlayStation 2. It's kind of hard to see right here, but if you look into this picture, it's a PlayStation 2. She's drinking a Surge can. That's like back in the early 2000s. <laughs> uh, we have manga on here. We got little figurines. We have a Pokeball right here. I'm just like, everything about this, I just, I'm like, it just reminds me of like back, back then of, uh, back around the 2000s, especially when I'm with my friend's house, when I was allowed to go, just being able to hang out. It's like all these little uh beanbag chairs and everything i just it just makes me think of it and I, I love it so much um if we look up top here we have the do what makes you sparkle and if you see around the sides we have scalloped edges uh, that's to help prevent fraying and then also we have um the legend that is on both sides right here and then if we look further down we have the thumbnail um so, <laughs> excuse me, uh, along with the licensing details, then we have the um, socials and also the lifetime warranty. Now, I did mention um, that I would show you what the um, cover minder in the washi tape is for. So, um, for big canvases like these, uh, what you want to do is kind of section this all out so that way, excuse me just a minute. Sorry, someone was at the front door. Anyway, so um, what you do for washi tape, if, if you have a larger canvas like this, is that you would want to section this out. Um, so you make it into smaller sections and washi tape can help make it easier for you on that. Also, um, it's not so, so bad on these newer canvases, but like older canvases and other different ones, um, there's usually like a little bit uh, extra layer of glue that goes out the edge. You usually want to put washi tape um, on the edge just so that way you're not like getting um, dirt and other stuff when you're putting your arm down and diamond painting and it just kind of comes off all the time. Um, then we have our cover minder. And our cover minder is uh, meant to basically when you pull the plastic back, you would put the back <laughs> words. We have two magnets. One will go on the back here and the other one right here will hold the plastic back for you. So that way you can uh, diamond paint without worry about your plastic falling onto your um, hand. So we'll just put that off to the side. Um, then we're gonna look through the drills. Um, if you don't really like this process, you can skip ahead to when I start show showing the AB placements. As I said, there are four, and um, if you are curious what an AB is, I'll show you in just a moment once we get to them. All right, so here we go. Look at all those drills, holy cow. All right, so first off, we are going to go with 917. 894, 333, 818, 319, 819, 3341, 782, 898, 891, 402, 945, 963, 444, 155, 553, 3731, 156, 
550. And then here we go, our first AB, which is 111. As you can see, an AB is an Aurora Borealis. It means, <clears throat> it means Aurora Borealis. I am so sorry. Um, what that means, it has an iridescent coating on top of the drill to give it a little extra shine, a little extra sparkle. As you can see here, you can see that it has like a rainbow effect. Isn't that pretty? The light from the uh, window is hitting it just right today and I'm so excited about that. Although it's starting to get a little dark so I might have to turn the light on in just a moment. <laughs> the sun is quickly setting. But yeah, it gives a little extra shine and sparkle. It's so pretty. So next up we have 211. 3850, 9.58, 8.09, 38.31, 162, 38.32, 9.61, 9.62. Thirty-six oh seven, one fifty-eight, thirty-eight oh seven, nine fifteen, thirty-six eighty-nine, thirty-three twenty-six, three forty-nine, thirty-seven sixty-six, three forty-one, and then we have our second AB, which is one twenty-six. Look how sparkly that is! Oh my goodness. Then we have 498, and then our third AB, which is 141. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> I promise. Oh, we have a second bag of 141. So two bags of those ABs. Then 921, 3716, 814, 3843, and we have two bags of does. Then we have 154. 3747, 817, and then our uh, fourth and last AB, which is 138, and we have two bags of those. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Then we have 803, 900, we have one, two, three bags of 310, 312, 3608, and then 995, and then 311. I'll be with you in just a moment after I find where all the ABs are located and I'll see you in just a moment. All right guys, sorry about that. I, I wanted to say one thing before I start everything, well two things. Um, uh, one of the things is I did not beat the sun setting at all. There's just a little bit of light but not enough. It started to get too dark in here. So I had to turn on the lights. Um, so unfortunately you have a little bit of glare here, but I figured it's still okay. It'll be fine. And then the second thing is, um, there is so much sparkle in this canvas. There is, it's going to be ridiculously sparkly. I should have known when they gave two bags of 141 and then two bags of the, uh, I think it was like 138. Oh my goodness. It is, there's like huge pockets of it. So, um, as I was looking at here, I forgot to mention there's going to be a good bit of color blocking, as you can see in certain sections. And then there's going to be a lot of confetti, like right around here. Um, if you don't know what those two terms mean, <laughs> sorry, color blocking is basically huge pockets of color where you don't have to switch out the um, your tray so often. It's just one color that you can just put over uh, down quickly. Um, confetti is basically just a bunch of colors. You're constantly switching out your tray to put your colors down. So like there's sections here that you can see. So um, with that said, let's let's show where um, I'm going to start at the very top instead of color by col <laughs> color by color. I'm going to just start at the very top and we'll just point out where every single AB or at least where I know where every single AB is located. So one of the first things is you have the twos and twos is what's like that purplish gray color. They're like inside the soles of this shoe right here, not inside, but on the outside. Um, uh, we have the threes, which was that beautiful blue, and it is all over this TV right here, like on the outside of this TV. And then of course, four, four which is 141, it's that white. It's all the snow that's in here that she's playing in this game. There's snow everywhere, so it's just all covered in here. 
um, the threes are more over here on the desk, not the desk, um, the bookshelf. So we have lots of threes going throughout here. We have some twos surrounding the picture frame. We go a little bit further down. We have some uh, twos right here for the shine of her, of the back of her leg and uh, back of her knee. And also right here on the side of her hand as well. Um, we go a little bit further down. We have threes here on this little uh, beanbag couch over here. And then we have some twos um, for the shine of her hair. And then also we have a bunch of ones all throughout her hair as well, which is that pinkish reddish color. So pretty. I'm so excited about that. Um, then we go a little bit further down. We got a couple of fours for the Pokeball. Um, and then we have some twos right here. Uh, let's see if I remember some twos are over here in this direction. Um, Luna herself has a couple of the beautiful blues all right here on the side. And then of course this little comic book or manga right here that uh, has some threes as well. So I don't know about you guys, but if you like Ivy Dolmer, you should really get this one. Um, I think it's out of stock right now, but you can pick it up or like put your email and so when you uh, when it's back in stock, they'll let you know. But it's so pretty, guys. I love this. I'm so excited about it. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Please let me know down below. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and please give it a thumbs up if you want, and subscribe uh, if you want. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I got to go get started on making dinner, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!